in this session uh, today we are going to start with html so if you are going to create any application in uh, any language whether you we are using probably why we need to create the web pages why we need to create uh, some design can you tell me anybody can help me to understand why need to create the some design so that we can present our information in a user friendly manner exactly we have data in our database we have some information in database or whether either we have not information database i want to show some message some information to the person who is browsing my website i have to create a interface right i have to create a page so we have to create uh, design the pages this is also known, known as the web design so web design refers to the process of creating and styling the appearance of a website how that website is appearing to us some website you when you visit like uh, you visit different stores some you, some stores sell, uh, selling same items but when you go to the store that store is more organized uh, more uh, appealing the aura of the store is very nice you go to some restaurant some restaurants are serving the same food but the environment and aura and the their layout design is such a nice such a nice that uh, you you feel better or your your experience is better there so in this uh, today's digital world those websites are also not less than a shop right you are going to amazon website you are going to ircctc website to booking your tickets you are going to yatra.com to book a ticket you are going to make my trip or any website these websites are created such a way that your navigation and browsing experience should be smooth suppose i am going to website it's not looking good is very hard to find the link very hard to locate a particular information i am looking for that is not a good website right so so whether you want to display some information which is fixed information static information or any creating any blog or creating any uh, e-commerce website or creating any school management system or any uh, reservation system you have to present everything such a way that the end user who is using these websites they can easily use and navigate right so while we as a developer we as a programmer we as a software engineer we have to decide uh, our uh, layout such a way that navigation experience to the end user should be smooth and they can easily find the information what they are looking for the font color the font size some, suppose there are some informations are uh, very important and you are just put it in very small text small size text so do you think that is the right presentation of that information no i'll make sure if this information is important for that uh, end users who were navigating my website i will highlight that information so while designing the creating pages we take all the perspective what are the new offering new trends what are the web standards we should take care while creating the pages so there are three fundamental things fundamental technologies you can say that if you are going to build modern websites or modern web applications first is html second is css, CSS. Yeah. and third is 
Java script. So these days are little different. If you talk ten years back or five years back, well, I'm not ten years back. I'm just five years back. If one developer knows backend technology only, like he knows PHP only, right? Or any framework had some knowledge. Yes, sir. That person was known as the backend developer, right? There was no need to know about the HTML, CSS, JS. It was handled by some front end person, right? Now things are changed. Now, if you are a backend developer, you are not only backend developer. There is no any concept of backend developer these days. These days, the concept is a full stack developer. Yes, sir. So you know, if you know PHP, some framework, you should also know about the front end technologies. That is required, right? So you have to keep equal weight, front side as well as back end side. Front side means HTML, CSS, JavaScript. You should know, and back end side it means you should know the PHP or any languages, some database, and some frameworks, right? So. Uh, Today and uh, on Monday will be on these three topics: HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Right. So, any question before moving forward in the details of the HTML, CSS, JavaScript? No, okay. So what is your HTML? HTML is hypertext markup language. Markup language. Right. Okay. It's a standard markup language for creating web pages. Web page. Right. Describes the structure of a web page. Consists of series of elements. Elements tells the browser how to display the contents. So yesterday we are talking about one thing: web standards. So how HTML is related to web standards? How HTML is related to web standards? So, as I was telling you yesterday, so web standards are the score set. So, uh, for making website, we have to follow some rules. Yes. Great. For making website, we follow some rules. So that, see, here two things are here. You as an engineer or software engineer, you are creating pages, and for creating those pages, you are using some tags. Like, I will go in detail in the next few minutes. Like you are going to use body tag or HTML tag or table tag, tr tag, td tag, you know already some high level I think you have already little understanding of those things, right? Yes sir. But you are writing those tags and your browser is helping to display the content in the format you are looking for, right? Whether you are loading that HTML page in Chrome or Firefox or Safari, similarly that is displaying, right? Yes, sir. It means those browsers knows that if this tag is written, I have to display the properties of this tag is to display like this, to present the content like this. So they have followed those rules and regulations while displaying. 
similarly who has decided this tax who is creating the standards that you will use this tag while writing and the browser companies who are developing the browsers they will parse and display like this they will follow the standards so study we're talking about web standards that is the w3c right yes sir yes right? sir yes. yes so yes so w3c is creating those standards and defining the tag properties and publishing those uh, tags so that as a programmer you can use as a sub, uh, developer uh, companies who are creating the, those browsers they can support those tags right yes sir. suppose that you are using a browser yes. yeah correct thank you so you are creating a web page w3c has released that standards suppose that uh, two months back right and uh, you started to use in a html page and the browser you have installed that is not updated and you install two years back right do you think that tag will display in your uh, browser whatever that that tag need to do will that uh, browser will work accordingly no or yes no sir why because the browser you have installed two years back and you have not updated that browser right and w3 has had released some tags two months back but that company released the not updated browser not up, up, uh, released so those tags will be not supported in that browser clear yes this, this is the simple rule yes so that's why when you see regular basis the browser also asks it's auto updated or you have to install sometimes remove that and install the latest version of that browser like chrome and safari they keep updating themselves it's not about only tags even the browser has lots of properties they are keep adding keep adding and that keep uh... so one question anybody can tell me what was the first browser what was the first browser we know chrome we know safari we know Microsoft is, but what was the first browser? Wait, wait, wait. No, that is uh, not, uh, that is a... Uh... Mosaic. Sorry? Mosaic. Little close you are. Anybody can give me? Some information of what was the first browser? So, when Microsoft released the, its operating system, when the Microsoft Microsoft released its operating system, there was no Internet Explorer with that. Can you assume that? What was the scene at that time? There was no any browser in Microsoft operating system, Windows. At that time, there was a separate company for the browser and that was Netscape Netscape Navigator 
people have to install that browser to use and browse the websites like you are installing any app similarly you have to install the netscape to browse the website till that time microsoft was not created any browser like uh, because firefox chrome this came very later right so netscape was helping to navigate the websites later on microsoft created his own browser that was internet explorer right and now they have upgraded their name to the microsoft edge so there is a uh, very interesting story behind the browsers so we are not going there and also when you get chance learn about the history of netscape right so what is html html is hypertext markup language a standard markup language for creating web pages describes the structure of a web page consists of series of elements elements tell the browser how to display the content now this is a simple example of creating a web page what is there first doc type html right then html then head then within head there is title then head closing title is also closing then body tag within that whatever we see all comes through from the this body tag right and then there is a p tag then i'm closing any body and then html so this is the simplest html tag which will you use so could you please open your uh, vs code yes everybody is open yes sir so i am also i am creating one folder so create a folder somewhere learn html something like that i am creating we pro HTML Vpro. I'm just creating this one, and within that, I'm opening that folder. HTML Vpro, right? now here i have to create a file right demo1 suppose i am creating demo1 dot html so what is the extension of uh, html files either you write html or stm also work sometimes right so this is yes. the, yeah this is the first file yes, I'm, first file i am creating in the folder so all are able to create this folder and open uh, create one file so are you sharing the screen i thought i was sharing <laughs> uh, is it not visible no sir no no sir no, no sir oh, i am not sure why this is stopped so visible so i am not having much yes sir yes sir Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what I did here, 
on my desktop i have created a folder html v pro right so and then in my vs code i have opened that folder so this one html v pro right and one second sir and within that you can create a file either create this one or you can just uh, create a file like this right hello sir yes uh, you want to say something yes sir i am not having the yes code in the laptop can you show me how to install it uh, you are not able to install vs code yes sir Is it not allowing you to, or you're not able to share? So you're talking Jyoti. Yes, sir. Jyoti, could you please share your screen? I'm giving you access. Please share your screen. are on that website the uh, open new tab and uh, then uh, type install vs code either open google.com yes sir Sir, have you stopped sharing? Sir, one second. <laughs> Sir, is my screen visible? Yes. there is already zip archive in the top just click download yeah there is a download and no? download the visual studio installation yeah yeah use this your is window 10 or 11 use that one right yes sir so are able to see it's a downloaded in the download yes sir yes. now install that So whoever has uh, not a VS Code, please follow these uh, steps and install on your laptop. Please raise your hand if your VS Code is not installed on your laptop. Anushika and Nisha. Nisha and Anushika. Uh, so you can follow the same step to download. Sir, is my screen visible? Yeah, Jyoti. Yes, sir. Tell me. Uh, yeah, I can see your screen. So, have you installed successfully? Yes, sir. Completed downloading. Yeah, download completed, but installation. Yes, sir. No, sir. I can see only this uh, download screen page. 
focus on one side. So Anushika, what challenge you are facing? Anushika, I'm unable to hear you. Your voice is not coming to me. Okay, great Anushika. And Nisha? Okay, great. Great Anushika. You already installed, right? Okay. Then click on that installer and install that VS Code. Jyoti, you done? So... So let us continue. So Jyoti and uh, Anushika, please install and uh, I'm going to continue with the topics. So here, uh, this is my, as I saw you, this is the simplest uh, HTML. So first thing is the doc type, you can see this one. We'll let her see one by one. So first you should always try to write by your own, right? Like your doc type, right? Whatever the doc type is there, right? What is the doc type? HTML. Basically this helps the, browser to understand that you are now going to parse the one HTML page without any guessing because because browser support to display some text information some XML information some JSON information but once you type the doc type it will treat that we are going to use the HTML right and the simplest format is first you start with the HTML right and then sometimes you write lang and I give, this is the my English language website. So that's why this lang is there. Then if I written HTML, I have to also close this HTML, right? My screen is visible, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yes, sir. Now within HTML, first thing we use is the head, right? And within that, I have to also close the head. So whenever you are writing, most of the 
these are known as the uh, elements what we see these are the elements of html right head is also an html uh, element and once most of the elements when we start we have to also close right and within that there is title what is the meaning of this title anybody can tell me what is the meaning of this title title of the web page title of the web page means suppose i have this website so you see now name of the tab right whatever you see on the tabs those are the title correct yes sir is Sir, means so in the browser title bar. Right. Yes. Are you able to see my browser title bar? Yes, sir. So these are this. I thought it's not visible. So you can see different names are coming like shop, shop, this, uh, this list, Bootstrap, Django, this one. Thank yes, you. Sir. Whatever this is coming, this is yes. coming from this title. Then. we start with the body right then close if you started body then we have to also close and here you write hello world i am writing here right so this is the simplest uh, html or uh, i can say boiler plate or the sample example uh, html code simplest one what is the meaning of this body anybody can tell me what happens in the body the what main content of the your web page will be there in the content body. of the web page yes whatever you see on a content yeah. of a page if i'm writing amazon dot com <laughs> so so whatever you are looking here whatever here in the complete page right everything is within this body tag body element right so here is the bigger contents in place of that i'm just using one hello world for demo purpose clear now how yes, how i can see the output of this html one thing is that i will go to the folder where i have saved this file click and this is loading right this is yes. one this is one way Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is another way? Sir, we can right click on our VS Code and uh, open so with live server. So, set an option uh, run in web browser. Right click, then. Sir, open with live server. No, I am not telling that. <laughs> Forget that for time being. Here, I can't see anything. so this live server helps yes sir right so if anybody has not installed this live server go to this this is the extension if you want uh, see the advantage of using vs code is it has lots of extensions right whether you are ph using php c++ java java scripts they have supported extensions extensions to help you to make your development experience some smoother and easier so here is i can type live server see this one mine is installed that's why it's displaying uninstall 
right yes sir so let's install this one if anybody is not installed please install this one sir what was uh, what was the doc type meant for can you please tell me one more time this one yes a doc type yeah doc type means at the first you can say whenever a page is loading in the browser and the browser is looking that the first entry point first line is rated doc type right so basically it's helping to the browser and now browser is fully prepared that i am now going to parse every element as a html html page html so you were prior informing to the browser that yeah everything coming as a html so instead of guessing and now coming starting html then parsing from the lots of its uh, rendering engine it's now one mindset of the browser that i have to only parse the html page so basically that is helping a browser to understand in some instead of guessing and looking at the tags okay sir understood understood okay great so everybody has installed this live server yes sir yes sir yes sir so please raise your hand if you are not able to not install this live server so i hope everybody has vs code and now live server you are installing please raise your hand if you are already installed live server wow i am still unable to see amisha anushka govardhana keshu kishor Nisha, Priya, Jyoti, Kishor, are you feeling any issue in uh, installing this BS Code and Live Server? Nisha and Priya are there. Yes, sir. Priya, you have already installed this one. Yes, sir. I am unable to see your hands. Keshu, Kishor. Priya, see if anybody facing issue in installing this uh, software and extension, let me know. Uh, either will feel some uh, not a good experience even while do the some practicals. Ansika is feeling issue. What is you feeling, uh, Ransika? What is the problem? Sir, how to download live server, sir? You have to not download. Just you go into the. Have you already opened BS Code? Yes, sir. In the BS Code, you see this extension. Okay, sir. 
and once you click here you can type search extension then live server sorry live it's coming up after you typing live the first extension is coming this one yes sir and once this come here you will get the link install okay sir got okay sir thank great. you sir great anybody else please let me know so why you are using this server because you are going to develop your uh, apps suppose i am doing some change here test i have written test right yes chantru please chantru molly is raising hand yes chantru please I am unable to hear Chantru if he is speaking. Okay, one more time. I have to repeat. Go to in this extension. You see this extension, Kishore. Kishore, I am unable to hear you. Yes, sir. You see, I have clicked this extension link uh, yes, sir, yes, icon, sir. and here in the search box. type live yes sir and you will see this live server yes sir click on that here you will get install link yes sir thank so, you sir okay great chan through you want to say something I am unable to hear Chandru if he is speaking. Please type your message. Okay. <coughs> Sorry. yes so i think by this we are all set now suppose that i am using this one and uh, i am loading this page by clicking here right if i am making any change uh, test 2 i am saving then i have to come here i have to again load this page to see this change right but but if you are using live uh, this server and let me close this and see the file and if you just right click open with live server right here now make any change test 3 and i am saving now see do i have to refresh or is automatically coming the 
changes automatic it's automatic a, yeah automatic coming because there is a live server running at this port and which is helping me whenever i am saving the content file it's auto update here so this will be the bigger advantage of using this live server right now let's go to our content hello sir for so, better presentation i'm just copying this url and uh, opening in a uh, new browser here so that i can easily toggle my screen right now the next topic here i have mentioned and already talked to you right doc type declaration doc type declaration represents the document's type and the help browser to display web pages correctly it must only appear once at the top of the page before any html tag right yes sir now what are the html elements an html element is defined by start tag some content and end tag right an html uh, element is everything from the start tag to end tag and this is end the tag. yeah this is the common format right like there is a h1 h1 so suppose that i'm typing h1 so basically this uh, vs code is helping me to close this one hello right you see hello is coming so this is the start of the tag and this is the end of the end tag end yeah, of the tag end of the tag correct so this is the uh normal you can say the html elements uh usage of no, uh, html elements like i'm using a start and tag name and a start and then tag name close how will close just by using slash right this forward slash got similarly uh, if you see i have a, i can use another tag if you're not able to understand this hp we are going to discuss in detail in, in next slides so for now i'm just telling you so like paragraph this is p this is a test para page right p so this is the start of the tag and this is the end of the tag and this tag contains these elements Th this is the container within those within this tag right then this you can say this is tag or html element clear yes see this is coming here so i'm starting from basic because uh, some people has already created some advanced pages while they are studying or learning but uh, many have maybe have missed or not uh, give attention to those so i am creating for that right so our next topic one is the nested elements right what is nested element what is the meaning of nested elements here i have written html closed here and it's nesting head within that we are nesting title this body tag is also within that html so this body tag is nested in html 
this s1 is nested where nested body body then, tag yeah this p tag nested in body so container another element yes yes one element containing one html element containing another, another html element. element right right so some will uh, some will have property to nested some will have not property of nested so like a body tag is there it will always nest some elements right because you have to display the contents on the web page using the body tag body html element right also some of the elements are uh, as i told you start and close right if i starting a tag we are closing start tag in tag start tag in tag here body am starting and closing the body here h1 is starting and closing the but some of the tags which are not have closing like br right and i'm writing this is new line right so what br does if you see what is happening here generate new line create a new line but i have not uh, something br something um, So this is known as the br. This is the empty tag. We know now, right? Now, because it's not containing any element, na this one element is within this p tag, right? Also, HTML, whatever we write, this body and are not case sensitive. either you can write the body sorry body and body it will work no issue or you can write larger h1 or capital h1 sorry or capital p capital p b r it will work same so html elements or html tags are not case sensitive right right but i think you hardly see books where uh, these tags are in uh, upper case so w3c the who create the standards it's recommend that you should write your html element or html tags in lower case correct now see some attributes what are the attributes like the we have the href attribute right attribute means i have one can you tell me what is this anchor tag anchor, anchor tag, tag right and anchor tag is used for creating links right yes sir so here we pass the path href equal to Uh, suppose that we are passing in www dot uh, suppose http www dot google dot com right so here this href is an attribute of what anchor tag anchor tag anchor tag yes right sometimes there is another attribute of this anchor tag target right it's already giving uh, it's a bs code helping me to these are the attributes of anchor tag target you can write blank right then 
tab index one give me then there are various various attributes are here or you can say so whatever the anchor tag has some properties those properties are known as the attributes so, so one per, sorry so here href you are writing target you are writing or tab index you are writing all are attributes of anchor tag here i am writing this one right so it look like this so we are clear about the attributes what is the meaning of attribute no let us see another example src image why we use image anybody can tell me img tag yeah, image image on a web page yes and the attribute one of the attribute is src right src yes yes sir and what we write here sir link the uh, image information that image that link means image information okay image information suppose this is the image uh, i can see on my desktop right sure what is this image but i'm taking this right this image not there some pictures of mine i'm giving my picture here my picture is coming right yes sir so this is how yes sir this is the yes, yes this src tag is the attribute of img right yes sir yes sir i'm just removing it's looking or let it like display also then there is a width and height attributes of this src i can put their width width equal to suppose i want 200 pixel right so my layout is adjusted i am giving width yes sir height is height is automatically adjusted you can give the height uh, 100 pixel so it will be little distorted because i am forcing what why uh, i was giving only width it was working fine right but once i am giving height image distorted why because sir once you set a width then the height is uh, adjust automatically yes if i am not providing height it's in proportion right in proportion its browser is automatically adjusting the image according to the width i have given height it automatically yes, adjusted so, right who knows the aspect ratio aspect ratio you no know? 
what is the minimum of expect receive anybody can help me expect receive the ratio between height and width of an element yes you are very close very nice so meaning of expect ratio is suppose you have an image width is 200 pixel right height is 100 pixel so expect ratio equal to you can take any one width by height how much 2 right now suppose i am new width i am giving is one second please Four hundred, right? So, if I want to retain the quality of my image, no any distortion, this aspect ratio always should be same, right? So, two equal to four hundred by height. I don't know the height. So how much will be the height? Can you tell me? Two hundred. Two hundred. So this is how the browser is working. It's trying to maintain this aspect ratio. But if you are forcing providing this value, that will distort. Yes. So this is very important to know about the. Generally, this is studied while you are learning the computer graphics in your uh, probably B, B Tech or B C M C whatever you did. Even you have only provided the height. See. it's a weird thing is adjusting according to the height clear and what yes, it's sir. what yes. yeah yes, so what it's maintaining if one attribute only height is given width is auto calculating if width is giving height is auto calculating see it's always try to maintain that aspect ratio ratio yeah correct aspect ratio but if you are giving your own value suppose it was uh 200 and then i am giving 150 this is changed right right this is not not a two yes. that's why distorting aspect ratio is not two that's why distorting okay uh then there are lots of other attributes are like alt alt attribute also what is the meaning of alt here i type alt and uh, hello sometimes it display when uh, some browser supports alt to whenever you mouse over it will be basically alt is and Remove. this uh, some browser dis sorry uh maybe alt is the image not loaded try again no some type some no images 
no no see in se provide alternative information of the exactly alternative information but uh, somewhere it's visible somewhere not visible right here see your title should come here hello is coming halt title is coming right alt yes. is alternative tab is suppose that this image has been i think here it should come hello my image had distorted right wrong path yes yes anyway yes, it's not loaded so whatever i'm writing an alternative it's coming right and title is if you mouse over that will show so that is alternative tags and that is the title tag then there is a style attribute style is also attribute suppose that i have this p tag right and within that i want to i can put the style and i can put the font color uh, suppose that just i am typing color red right so if you see now this text is coming red so this is also a attribute style is also an and attribute attribute you can use this style here also style equal to font size uh 10 pixel by default it was displaying bigger font or h1 but i now i am giving my own style 10 pixel i am making it right if i do not provide this one it displaying like this now i am putting my on style a style means i am formatting the content and this is known as the inline styling right yes, yes sir this is known as the inline styling then there is a lang lang already you know i have already mentioned you this is the lang browser understood that whatever the coming in in the content is the english support so so browser can you will have if you if you are using some japanese or anything other language you can put here jp right japanese website then title here is the title this comes into the browser tab always use the lower case attributes you already i have told you these are the lower case this is the lower case this is the lower case and one also important thing sometimes uh suppose that uh, you were displaying in double quotes so this one is coming in double quotes sometimes you have to show the inner content in double quotes and outer in single quotes to something like this you can display like this it's your choice whatever you want to display double quotes it will work So we, I think we how to create and run HTML file. We already done uh, covered this one, right? Yes, sir. So try one thing. I've given this example. Create a simple web page and use the tags H1, P, anchor, and image. Right? Write by your own hand. Whatever I've demonstrated, create by your hand. 
create a file and show me done anchor okay, image or yes sir use h1 p tag anchor tag and image tag Sir, okay. once I explain how to run the code. How to run the code? Okay. Yes, sir. Either you just right click here, and there is open with live server, right? You see? This one? Yes. Or you can see this port five five zero. Click on this, and you can click and go to you can go on that page, right? Sir, once explain, sir. So better to right click and go from here. Okay, sir. Click and it will be open a new browser. This one. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So continue and uh, let's uh, five minutes in five minutes you can create and thereafter we'll have some break, right? Okay. So let's create first. नहीं खाना खाऊंगा पांच मिनट ब्रेक हो कमेंडेशन सबको मिलता है
so i hope you are able to create the page yes sir can you please raise the hand who have created already chandru dan priyans dan tarni dan great great over else bullet kumar dan very nice sai dan thank you aditya momo kishor divya apurva ashutosh pragati amisha priya govardhana jyoti nisha great great who are missing so chandru can you please share your screen yes sir will file the option to share a screen okay h1 you use p tag enter tag image and can you please run and show me Have you installed that live server? Yes. Yeah. Yes. There is. Yes. Already. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Can you click on that? Click on that again. it's not running uh, click on this files left side second icon top second left extreme left extreme left second you see the file icon file icon yes sir no no not that icon icon image one vs image. vs code icon you can see vs code image no vs code vs code no no there is a image vs code image blue one blue image top top left extreme top left below that there is a file icon also below that below that yeah click on that then right click this demo dot html right click open with live server there is a Also, there is a shortcut Alt O, I think. Yes. Sir, Alt B, sir. I. Alt B. Yeah, yes, sir. I think it's not visible to me. So, see your browser. Where is your browser? Open your browser. Either on uh, Firefox or probably it's coming into Firefox. Or whatever your default sir. browser. The uh, Chrome, sir. Open that. Open your browser. Say, yes, sir, I opened. Is this my browser? I am not able to see your screen. Uh, only I can see this code. VS Code.
Sorry, this is machine. Yes, I can see your screen. Yes. So that is a demo one, na? Click on that. Yeah. Yes. No, no. Again, uh, click, click in. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah, uh -huh. here, here. But that is directly you have opened. Okay, sir. But uh, I need to. Why you are not? Uh, yeah, click on that. Open as live server. Okay, sir. Yeah, this one. Okay. This is on live server, na? They see one twenty seven dot zero dot one five five zero zero port, right? It's using this server URL, right? Or laptop is a like lo local server. Okay, sir. It's loading like a website. Okay, sir. So, if you make any change, do any change in the HTML, do any change in the HTML in the VS Code. Just save. Yes, sir. Changing. Sir. Changing without refreshing, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay, great. So now you are able to see the changes and use the live server, right? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So anybody else any facing same similar issue? Are you able to run successfully or not? Please help me understand. If you are not able to still run the uh, HTML code, raise your hand, please. Because I have to give an assessment and according to the assessment your uh, evaluation will be done and it will be shared with the um, top management right so please make sure whatever we are doing we are doing not only pretending we are doing right so yeah Pragati yes sir what challenge you are facing so it is not opening with live server uh, Pragati, where you are, one second. Could you please share your screen? Yes. your VS code is my screen visible yes yes I can see your screen so have you installed that uh, live server? Yes, you have, all, you have already installed. Then, uh, then right click on that uh, demo trailer HTML. Then, oh yeah, open is live server. Now go to that browser, what was the default browser, open that. It's already open. Open your default browser. What browser you are using? Yes, sir. Wait, sir. So expand now, that expand that one, browser. Maximize. Yes, yes. This is not a browser. This is the yes, 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 sir. Wait, sir. Yeah. I'm okay. You see, uh, it's not coming, sir. So it's not coming. It means this is not your default browser.
So how can I know what is my default browser? So it is Microsoft Edge only. No, any browser is in their laptop. So it is Microsoft Edge only. Okay, so do one thing. Uh, yes, open, sir. open a tab in the uh, Microsoft Edge. Yeah, open with Microsoft Edge. Okay. It is not coming. No, no. I am telling you. Yes, sir. Go to your browser. Yes, sir. So, can you repeat? Go to your browser. Okay, sir. Yes. So, Microsoft Edge. Yes, sir. Yes. Type here uh, one URL 127.0.1. Sir, so, this site. Yeah, type 127 dot yes, sir. 0 dot 0 dot 1 colon 5500 yes, slash demo 1 yes sir demo I, I, I think that was what was the URL demo one dot html enter your screen ended i am unable to see your screen okay uh, i think let's try i think that's there is some can you install some uh, like firefox on uh, or uh, chrome Hello. Yes, sir. I think the screen sharing is already uh, stopped. Okay, guys. I think you should again try uh, and look into that. So let's have a break. And when your another class is going to happen from twelve. One right, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So let's have a little break of uh, 15 minutes and then we'll connect for half an hour. Then you will join that one, right? Okay, sir. right, sir. Okay, okay, great. Okay, sir.